Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ponderosa and today I'm going to show you something that I had to pick up for my recent solar and off-grid fascination. Now, you know, this channel is not exclusive to off-grid and emergency power, but lately it's a big topic and I'm fascinated by it. And with the recent, you know, hurricane that hit the panhandle and, and I've been through many hurricanes in my day, you know, being without power sucks, it really does. And uh, people that are looking for a portable solution for off-grid power, Samlex actually makes some solar panels, a portable one like this. Samlex I'm familiar with, with ham radio power supplies. And uh, now they're making some stuff here because this is the hot topic. That sun rises every day and this is portable power. This is emergency power when you need it. I'm gonna show you about this Samlex portable fold-up solar panel that will fit in this case that it comes with. And uh, we're gonna show, it does come with a uh, solar charge controller built onto this unit, okay? And you can charge a battery with this, keep a battery charged, and Samlex also has a power inverter, DC to AC, which I'm gonna show you soon, uh, that I got in this process to show you how you can take the free energy from the sun and turn it into emergency power. You may not be able to run an air conditioner on this setup, but you can definitely charge your phones, charge your ham radios, use some lights, power a TV, and do some other stuff with a battery, a solar panel like this from Samlex, and an inverter. Let's check it out. And I'm gonna do this part of the video in the shade behind that tree just because it is really hot out here. We're almost to October. I just can't wait for it to cool down. In the meantime, so portable power like this, okay? Uh, the, first of all, this panel right here comes from gigaparts.com. Now, uh, Gigaparts, if you're new to the channel, uh, they have a lot of stuff for ham radio, and I've been shopping there for quite some time. Before I knew the guys, they've let me borrow stuff to play with. They've, they've uh, let me come into their store and hang out with them. They're really, really good people. They're knowledgeable, and they have really good stuff there. And then I started finding out, I guess at the same time I make this channel and start getting into solar, hey, we got some solar stuff. I'm like, what? I had to pick this up, okay? And so... This is by Samlex. This is a trifold monocrystalline portable 135 watt solar panel that has the charge controller built in. It's on the back. Something like now this will fold up and I'll show you that. It'll fold up into sort of, sort of like a briefcase type, you know, on the neoprene case here. And you can take it with you. It is a little heavy. For those who are wondering, will I be able to take this thing and my five year old carry it? Well, it is a little heavy. When you put it in here, fold it up, it's a little heavy. I'm not sure the weight, but it's not as light. But it's a lot lighter and more portable than something like the big solar panels I have in the back. And I picked up three more of those, and you're gonna see those in a future video coming up and where I got those and how cheap they can be if you go to a wholesaler. But anyways, we're talking about this here. Somebody in the panhandle, somebody that is portable, ham radio, you know, the guys that are coming from my ham radio channel, you're subscribed you know right now looking at this that this is something that can be useful for field day for uh you know drills for emergency communications what happens in a ham radio uh you know exercise you can deploy this and keep your batteries charged your bio no batteries and stuff like that but for somebody who doesn't know it doesn't have to be brain surgery it doesn't have to be rocket scientist so 135 watt panel and the idea of this is you're not going to run directly off this panel. You're going to use this to charge a deep cycle battery like this to run an inverter like that. Now that's a Samlex inverter, 300 watt. And I'm going to check that out too because I have a 400 watt off-brand Chinese, uh, you know, modified sine wave inverter. And I'm going to put that against the 300 watt pure sine wave inverter by Samlex and see, can I run a TV? Can I run lights? Can I run this and that? Battery chargers, phone chargers whatever the case may be. So monocrystalline, we're gonna talk about the video in the future coming up here in the next video about the difference between monocrystalline, polycrystalline, and thin film. But what you're seeing here, it's foldable, okay? And the way I'll show you this, it's got legs on the back. I'll give you an idea here in a minute when I turn the camera around. But you can see it folds up, okay? Makes it very easy to be portable. But then it's got battery terminals or cables. It's got a big Anderson power pole. I'm going to show you the back of this in a second. And the idea is you're going to plug this into here. You're going to take this. You're going to put this on the battery and away you go. You're charging your battery free from the sun. Okay. Then you're going to take the wires from your battery to the inverter. And now you have 110 volts AC, 120, 110, whatever. 
AC to power TVs, lights, and stuff like that. Uh, so what I'll do is, uh, let me show you the back here real quick on what this looks like. The charge controller is built in. And then we're going to hook it up and put a current meter on it just for a second in full sunlight and see kind of what's happening with my battery on a voltmeter and a, a current meter and how I'm charging, you know, with this panel. Now, I did because the sun is not in front of my trailer anymore at this time of the day in the evening. I did have this up the other day testing it out, charging the two coach batteries on the front of my trailer. I turned on what I could on a 12 volt system to draw about five amps, but I was putting seven amps from this into the batteries. So I was two amps ahead of what I was using and I was keeping those batteries about 12.97 volts in direct sunlight. So let me give you a shot here on the camera of the back side of this and then we'll put it in the sun and give it a test. All right, so on the back, it's already mounted a Samlex Solar 10 amp charge controller. You can see that right now, because I'm plugged in, we got lights, we got activity. Blinking, it's doing something. I'm gonna guess this is a PWM, a pulse width modulated charge controller, and we'll explain that video coming up. The difference between an MPPT and a pulse width modulated charge controller. Very valuable information. Um, this has the uh, junction box here. Everything is is uh, you know pretty you know sealed here to keep this. I mean, you can if you want. You could pop this cover off and see the connections there. Okay, they are crimped and soldered, or they're soldered rather, with a diode here because very important that you have a diode on something like this so that when the sun goes down, you don't discharge your battery into the solar panel because you're gonna be losing power overnight. So usually they have a blocking diode to keep the power from being lost in the panel, okay? When I say monocrystalline, give you an idea here, monocrystalline usually looks black in color, okay? And uh, you could also see, and this is a video coming up when I show you the differences. That's what it would look like here, okay? Um, and uh, we're, let me put this out in the direct sunlight out there, and we'll see what this thing's doing for charging in, in direct sunlight uh, with the voltmeter and the current meter. Okay, so <clears throat> as a little simple test, I have my leads of my Fluke meter here connected to my 12-volt deep cycle battery, and we're at about 13.07 volts. Now, the thing with solar charge controllers and solar panels is usually you want to connect the battery first before you connect the solar panels to the charge controller. So it's got somewhere to go. Now this solar charge controller here has, you know, it's got technology in it. It knows there's nothing connected. It's not outputting anything as kind of like a safety, all right? What I'm gonna do is, we're at 13.7 volts. I'm going to clip on the leads here to the battery, all right? and just see what starts to happen. And I'll put a current meter on there. Ready? All right, you can see the battery going up now, okay? So when this happens, all right, now there's nothing connected to this battery. I'm not drawing anything, but look, we're already up to, you know, almost 14 volts. And that's the, the sun's got the clouds a little bit in front of it. I mean, we must have some Saharan dust or, or something here. Uh, but now you can see the charge controller is blinking. It detects a battery. Uh, it does have solar, you know, blinking there as the photons from the sun are coming in. All right, 13.98. Now what I'm going to do is just on the charge controller, I'm going to put my little cheapo current meter on here because I want to see how many, you know, amps are entering or being produced from charge controller for the DC amps and I'll just clip it onto here now right now it says there's only 1.46 amps and the reason is because the battery is topped off now if I had a dead battery or something under load it's going to draw more so how can I put a load on this battery in order to get it to draw more uh, or produce more current to keep the battery charging well let's see what I can hook to the battery real quick to put a load on it so we can see um, what this you know charge controller will do for it. Okay, so what I have here is the Samlex 300 watt inverter, which is running my DeWalt battery charger. The solar panel maintaining it at 12.34 volts on the battery. And the solar controller is now putting in about 2.28 amps. The sun is exactly not the brightest. It's behind some clouds, but check it out. If you want to see how much current's being drained 
from the actual device to go AC to DC, or DC to AC, we're at 18.6 amps that's being drawn from the inverter. The solar panel and indirect sunlight is drawing, or putting, keeping it right at 12.34. Now, if I shut this off, solar panel is going to bring that battery back up, as you see. All right, so it's putting out less current now. All right, it's charging the battery just over two amps. And it's going to get that battery back up to 13 point something. And again, that's not the exactly, you know, the brightest 100% full sun. If I can show you on the camera, it's like behind a cloud or whatever. But the Samlex inverter here was drawing about 20 amps to keep this battery charged. Now, you may say, well, I don't have a drill battery to charge. What, what good is that? I'm just trying to put a load on it to give you an idea. If you calculate with formula for 300 watts, and this will do like 600 peak uh, surge, but if you do like 300 watts on this thing, you could run, you know, my LED, uh, uh, my LED or LCD TV, which is 40 to 60 watts. You can run some uh, light bulbs, some CFL or LED light bulbs. You can run your DirecTV satellite receiver. Um, you know, uh, a lot of different things that you can run off of a battery and a solar. And you can see it's slowly climbing back up in indirect sunlight. It is direct, but it's like behind a cloud. It's keeping the battery charged. The idea behind the solar panel is not to run directly off of this. Uh, but to keep that battery charged and maintained uh, at the appropriate you know level so that the battery doesn't go bad and uh, you have plenty of power in case the clouds go in front of that you know solar panel but you can see in the next you know 10 15 minutes I'm gonna be over 13 volts on this and uh, that's with zero current drain right now so free energy from the Sun this you know the, the goal behind this panel here is to show you that there are portable options for solar, uh, made by Sam Lex here, sold at gigaparts.com. The link is in the description. And uh, I'm going to use this. What, what my idea is, I'm going to use this in, you know, like wintertime situations where I want to keep these two coach batteries charged, okay, uh, with that panel. Because, again, on the DC side, I was drawing about 5 amps from these batteries. I put one in parallel. I have to change the negative over to the other battery. Yes, somebody noted that you want to run. If you run them in parallel, the positive to the trailer comes from this one and the negative comes from that one. I'm going to always suck from this one first. So, you know, drawing five amps with a couple of LED lights on, a couple other little things. I was putting in seven with that Sandlex power inverter or a power solar, you know, panel with charge converter. And that'll keep these batteries all day from going dead at that rate. Now, if I'm only drawing two or three amps on the DC side with very minimal LED lights, that solar panel will be more than enough to keep that powered. All right, so three minutes later, we're at 13.10, 11. You see it going up. It's keeping these batteries, or this battery floating, charging and keeping it at an appropriate level. So check out the links in the description. This is a uh, pretty, you know, for, for those who need power, man, if you're out there in a hurricane prone area, I've been through it before. I know hurricanes, I know needing power. This will be uh, a very you know, effective means for you. And it can zip up in that case and be you know, portable, provided anywhere you need it, just set it up uh, for those ham radio operators. Set this thing up at field day, you know what I mean? There you go, portable power from the sun. 7-3 everybody for those ham radio operators and more videos on the way. Thanks for watching to all the people on the Ponderosa. Got a lot of stuff coming. I just have uh, the time constraint. But this video is, uh, this channel is more than just solar, but right now that's the kick I'm on. Off-grid living and just using free photons coming from the sun to power stuff that I need. Take it easy.